Hey everyone, it's Ann from Craft Fantastic, and we're making this really cute necklace today. Um, it's a choker length, and we're calling it the Swallow Dangle Collar Necklace. Um, you need uh, one of our swallow connectors, um, our tiny round uh, fine line trays and glass. This is a long 30 inch chain, and I'm gonna show you how we double that up. And then a medium jump ring, and then uh, I think you need four of the, the uh, small jump rings. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I wanted to let you know about is that you are gonna need your fantastic lays and glue and your super sticky dots. I uh, use the glue to make the piece of glass and you use the sticky dots to um, put the glass piece in the tray. If you use the fantastic lays and glue, um, then um, sometimes it interacts with the metal. So you need a pair of scissors, and this one has a little bit of glue on it. These are our sort of utility scissors. You need a pair of pliers, and that's a pair of a pair of pliers, right? Because you're gonna be doing your jump rings. Um, you need uh, some Q-tips to clean up around the edge of the glass. And I think that that is all you're gonna need. So, all right, let's get started. So what I wanna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my little piece of glass here. And I wor wanna work on a hard surface um, and on a piece of scrap paper. So this is a hard table. And I've got my glaze and glue. I've got my little image. I'm gonna do these really cute. I'm not sure what these are. They kind of look like nasturtiums maybe. Um, and you're gonna squirt a blob, just enough so it's gonna ooze out the sides. And this stuff is great because it doesn't bubble, doesn't turn yellow. And I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna push down on it. And the glaze and glue oozes out a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a Q-tip. You can use a paintbrush and wash it out if you don't wanna use Q-tips. The Q-tips are nice because you just use them and then you toss them. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry. All right, so now once this is dry, I'm gonna take it and trim with my scissors and I trim right up along the edge and I trim really close to the glass all the way around. And I love the way the uh, fantastic glaze and glue and the glass sort of work together to really magnify the image. All right. And now we're gonna use our fantastic sticky dots. And um, these sticky dots are the size that will fit into our mini trays, but if you're going smaller, you're gonna have to cut them into quarters or in a half. And so what I do is I'll leave them on the sheet and use them for next time. So I'm just gonna peel that off. This is double-sided. This is the hardest part, is getting this orange liner off of this sticky dot. So I go ahead, and I'm gonna use my pliers to actually peel this off. It makes it a lot easier. And as I said, the hardest part of this, well, actually there are two hard parts, choosing the image and, but that's fun, and uh, getting rid of that uh, fantastic sticky dot. All right, and now I'm gonna put this in here the way I like it. And there we have our glass cab. Okay, so these are all the components that we need to make our necklace. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, actually I'm gonna make my chain. So the way you're gonna do that, this is the long 30 inch chain, you're gonna hold it on the clasp, and you're gonna pull it all the way down nice and tight, right to the center. And that gives us the center, and I'm gonna use my crap cruddy scissors that I use for this kind of thing, and I'm just gonna cut the chain, super easy, right? So now what we're gonna do is, and I'm actually gonna move all this stuff out of the way, um, because we're doubling up this chain, we're gonna take it and we're going to open up this jump ring that's attaching the um, 
the uh, clasp, right, on both of these. And we're just going to put the end of the cut onto uh, the jump ring. So you're gonna take your jump ring and you need two pairs of pliers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up this tiny jump ring, and this is a tiny one on here. And you could also add some more jump rings to this if it made sense. I'm just gonna actually use what we've got. And I'm just gonna take the end of the chain here. And then I'm gonna close up that jump ring again. And I'm working it side to side, that's how that's how that works. And then I just match those guys up. Okay, so now what I've done is I've got uh, basically two loops of chains here. And um, I am going to now attach um, a small jump ring to both ends of this, this loop. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna make sure everything's laying flat and I kind of pull it apart and make sure I'm getting that center link. And I think I've got it here. And again, if you do, if you make a mistake here, it's not the end of the world because, actually what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna open this jump ring up first so it's ready to go. I think that actually will be a good idea. So I open up my small jump ring. And again, jump rings, it can be a little tricky, but. You have to have good eyesight for this. So I've got my open jump ring here ready to go. And now I'm gonna locate that center loop. And I'm just gonna take it, and you can hold it with pliers and do this, or your fingers, and I'm gonna just hold it with my fingers. And I'm just gonna thread, well, I think I'm gonna do that. I actually need a little help here. There we go. Okay, and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna join this. Actually, no, I'm gonna put the swallow tail. I'm gonna put this onto the swallow tail. Right? And now, so you have something like this, right? With the, the swallow on one side. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it really tight and locate my center link. And then I'm going to take my open jump ring, thread it on, and close. this time we're closing this one up. And you have to wear your glasses and have good lighting when you're doing this. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and closed. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna have that and we're gonna set this aside. Now what I wanna do is I want to attach a ring onto um, my little tray here. And again, the way you do this, and you might want to watch our video about jump rings. Um, we're going to post that in a couple of days. So, so I'm just putting, right? And then I'm going to open up this jump ring. And we're going to put that in the little bird's beak, just like that. Okay, so now you have the beak of the bird, right, with the jump ring. And then you've got the opposite double chain with the jump ring. And you've got your, um, your little cab that you've created. And now we're gonna take a medium jump ring 
and we're gonna open that up and we're gonna put all this stuff on there. And you have to make sure you put it on in the right order and in the right direction. But if you make a mistake, you can always redo it again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna put on my cab. So I want the bird to face the right direction. So I'm gonna carefully look at the direction of this bird and I'm gonna put that on, right? And now I wanna put on the chain on the other side. And I'm just gonna close up the whole thing. And there you have your little swallow. And I think this is so cute. Now, a couple of things. You can use the uh, some of the medium jump rings to make this longer. I have a bigger neck, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna unhook the clasp, and I'm just gonna add one, um, medium and jump ring. And this makes it easier to open and close too, to our um, end here. And it definitely makes a difference in terms of putting the necklace on. And it's kind of a cool design element too. And then you just hook it and you've got your really cool uh, choker, or I like to call it a collar. And uh, you can make this longer by just, you just add more of the medium jump rings to the um, opposite the clasp. Um, and if you didn't want to do the double chain, you could just cut the chain wherever you wanted to and just do a single chain. But with the uh, choker length, uh, with the collar length, I really like this heavy chain. I think that's sort of an added element and, and I think it's a pretty cool um, uh, design. Now let me tell you what you get um, or what you need to make this. You need the, the medium jump rings right? And you need the small jump rings. And then you need uh, tiny glass rounds, the 12 millimeter glass rounds. You need uh, our swallow connectors. They come five to a bag. And these are super cool. You can use these for a lot of things. You need the 30 inch uh, Rolo chain, especially if you want to double if you don't, you could use a sh shorter chain. And then you just need some of the tiny, the 12 millimeter um, fine line trays. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching and have a fantastically creative day.